The following is a presentation of the Retro Network. Hey everybody, welcome back to the J Plays Nerd Lounge and uh, another mobile game review right here on the Retro Network YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, thanks for being a subscriber and uh, let me know what you want to see in these videos. If you've got a mobile game with some retro flavor that you want me to review, I would love to hear it. Uh, today's game is actually a viewer suggestion. Shout out to uh, Ken Spaulding who actually suggested the Prize Fighters game that I reviewed uh, a few weeks back. And today's game is Bumblebee Overdrive, suggested by Ken. Uh, everybody loves Transformers, uh, loved Transformers back in the day. Started out with the G1 series, and uh, I've watched a few of the iterations over the years. But um, they've had some pretty decent games along the way, too. Uh, and I've gotten into a few of them, but uh, not a whole lot. This game was fun. Um, it's a kind of a endless runner, but not. Uh, <laughs> it's You can go in between modes of the Transformers, and it's not just Bumblebee. It's uh, uh, a lot of the characters and their more G1 look in this game. And you go and you uh, are in car mode, you transform into robot mode and do a little battling and uh, get through missions and then you can upgrade your characters, get new characters. Uh, it's pretty fun, but uh, I wanted you to take a look at uh, Bumblebee Overdrive by Budge Games. Let's get to it. All right, let's fire it up. From Budge Games, it's Bumblebee Overdrive. There we get a classic transforming sound that we all know and love. Uh, so here we are at the start screen. Uh, you can see if I've already uh, unlocked Ratchet at level two. There's Bumblebee. Uh, I've played a few missions, just uh, I think three missions. Up at the top, you've got your uh, Energon, which is your essentially energy that you can do your missions with. So I've got, essentially can do five missions right now. And I think you'll probably have some kind of timer to earn more Energon. Then you've got your coins and your gems there to uh, upgrade your character. As you can see right there in front with Ratchet, I've got him at level two. I need 150 coins to get him to the next level for his blaster and his armor. And then you can also upgrade the, uh, the character as a whole. Let's go down here to your boosts. So these are uh, available during the game. You can get a magnet to pick up coins. You can get a uh, healing to help your uh, more health, some damage, points times two, you get a tri shot, which comes out like a spread gun almost. A laser, which is a straight shot ahead that'll stay for a while. Missiles and a shield. Now here's the missions. Um, let's see. So your missions are just basically little things you can help to earn more coins. So if I destroy three, uh, gather 15 boosts, I get 75 coins, three Decepticon turrets and closely avoid some civilian cars to get more coins. Let's go over to our Decepticons. Now these are our kind of battles as we're going. So far I've defeated Tracer and Quake. Next up we'll be going to be going up against Acid Storm, Battle Slash, Brawl. All the way up here there's Thundercracker, Ramjet. Some of these I know, some of these I'm not too familiar with. Sky Warp, there's Soundwave. Megatron at the very top, of course. And then your store is just basically you can go in and buy stuff with real money to uh, advance a little bit quicker in the game. Get uh, You can actually trade in your gems for coins, looks like. Uh, and then you can uh, boost your Energon recharge there for seven days for a dollar. But it's free to download, so... That's that. All right, let's get into the game. Gameplay is really simple. You're holding down the screen, holding down my thumb here, uh, as you play to move the vehicle. And he's not going to move until uh, I actually touch the screen and move him down. We're loading up the mission here. Hopefully it will be soon that we'll get to show you Bumblebee Overdrive. 
yeah, when you're in the car mode, it's basically just kind of a back and forth thing. There, it just shows you some uh, things there to earn. I'm gonna hold down, and then we're gonna go for it. So there's Ratchet. And it's telling you uh, what's going on here. Whoa, getting off the course <laughs> already. Obviously, you're wanting to get the coins. You can run over plants. Man, I'm taking a lot, a lot of damage. Doing very well here. Here we go. Take out some coins. Uh, cones, I should say. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> I already lost. Uh, See, I can call in a backup, so I can call in Bumblebee to keep going. I think I'm just going to wait, and uh, let's just try to do that over again. I wasn't paying attention there at first, how much uh, avoidance I needed, but no thanks. Watch any ads while we're playing. Let's just load up the mission again with Ratchet. Let's see if I can get through here. But yeah, so you saw him change. He starts out as Ratchet, goes right into the Autobot. The uh, ambulance that Ratchet is. Takes a little time to load up. I don't remember this uh, taking quite this long for the first couple missions. There we go. All right, we're gonna hold start. Here we go. Bit better this time. Yeah, take out the cone. It'll point the arrows to what you can take out too, like the plants and the cones. Dang. And here comes the base. When you're at the base, this is when you start firing. You can move them up and back when you're in the base. And I got missiles now, so I can go up and down, not just left and right while I'm in the base. Try to pick up some of these coins here. There, I got some extra weapons. Sneak up through there, take out a turret, take out the gate. I got a magnet. New missiles. There's a shield. Wow. There we go. Yeah, pick up those coins. Now we've defeated the base. Back to Ratchet. Let's see if we get the. There we go, got the shield. Got the plants, not the spikes. I'm about halfway on my health, so when you're side to side here, you can uh, if you can side swipe. There like that. Another base. Wow, okay. Second base. We got this turret. Nope, missed him. Dang it. Well, I guess I got taken out. We'll keep going with the Bumblebee here. Why not? Be to the rescue. Oh, Bumblebee's Bumble a little bit weaker, but he shoots quicker. Gotta get through here without. I don't even know what that thing is. Just trying. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, there we go. 
Maybe through that base. Back and forth here. Oh, pretty good. About the time I say that is usually when something goes wrong. <laughs> Narrow misses. Thanks. Oh. I got KO'd. Didn't complete that mission. Well, I guess we're going to have to uh, start that over again. Up, do some upgrades here while I'm at it. Oh yeah, I didn't take you through the uh, different characters that are available. Let's do that real quick. There's RC, that starts at level 3, Sideswipe, Moon Racer, a Muscle Car Bumblebee, Prowl, Jazz, yes, Nova Star, Mirage, Optimus Prime, and we're back to Bumblebee. Let's, uh, let's do some armor upgrades here. And blaster. More armor since I guess I'm running into stuff. We'll try it one more time for you. See if we can't. I can't remember which Decepticon it was I was trying to beat at the end. We were getting close. Let's see what we can do. Round three, third time's a charm. Oh, I can't wait for fall. It is hot here. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Stay away from those spikes. As much as I can. Arms. Took some damage. It will help. It will help. This combines several different elements. This is cool. So it's not just the monotonous, hey, I'm just going to move forward and go back and forth. I'm doing a lot more. Use that shield. Definitely tell he's uh, more powerful than Bumblebee. There's the laser. It's everything in front of you. Still, uh, man, they're still after me. Darn. Things turn after you. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. That's you. Okay, we got one base down. Now oh, we're back on the road. Grab some more coinage. some civilians today. I need some help now. Okay. Health is still pretty low. We need to get some health here. Critical. There's a shield. I don't know 
help me get ahead of these guys. Ah, got me. All right, I'm gonna try Bumblebee again. See if we can't get through this. Here we go. Rockets are like heat seekers, which is nice. There we go. Needed that health. All right, we made it through the second base. Still got some a ways to go before we get to the dang this bit. My health is low again. Man, it's hard. <laughs> Alright, well that's gonna be it. Uh I'm not gonna try to go again, but those first two missions are a lot easier than that was, let me tell you that. But we're going to have to just keep upgrading and uh, get through those bases a little bit easier. So that was a little look at uh, Bumblebee Overdrive. So there it is, Bumblebee Overdrive. Uh, pretty solid game. I was actually having fun with this. Uh, I'll probably continue to start doing some more missions, uh, like the bosses they have at the end. Uh, anxious to get to some of those other uh, Decepticons that I actually know. Uh, these ones, I don't know if they're specifically made up. Maybe some uh, other iterations of Transformers, but I just wasn't familiar with some of the Decepticon names. But, um, yeah, of course, uh, yeah, Transformers is in my blood. So I'm going to go with a solid four out of five joysticks for Bumblebee Overdrive. Uh, very fun game. I'm going to put links right down here. Go check those out for the Google Play Store, for your Apple Store, so you can go test it out for yourself. Leave a comment, we'd love to hear if you've tried it out and uh, what your rating is. And it, like I said before, any suggestions for these games, would love to hear it. Uh, we've got some fun ones in the queue, but always room for your suggestions as you're, as you're uh, playing along with me. So, till next time, I'm closing the Nerd Lounge. Jay plays, we'll see you then.